it was amazing, you know, and it, I think it's it's just been so frustrating for us um, over the years because, you know, we've been adamant that we want to make have a bigger connection back home in the UK and and uh, play more shows and do more tours for years, you know, and something always comes up and <clears throat> it, it's it's been so frustrating. So to finally get back and and play download, you know, it was amazing. And um, for me, obviously, everyone's family's always come. Uh, which is really nice but for me because I, I live back in the UK and I moved home um, so for me it was nice because I, I went I got to go home the night before hang out with my kids hang out with my wife and then we all got the train down to download so I went to download on the train with with all the fans also heading to download um, which was so it was like it was exciting and it was a different experience because I've always come in from download you know in the bus back around the bag didn't really see uh, the ins and outs and the ongoings of, of downloads so just coming on the train and just see everyone's excitement and you know how it how it you know it was just a, a different energy that I hadn't experienced before, which I think to me made me enjoy the show that more you know and then to have my kids um side stage watching uh was was a pretty special moment as well for me um we're at a point where we've been doing this for a really long time and um you know, we, most of us, all of us, minus Danny, are our parents now, and I've got four children, and so things start to life starts to happen, and you start to really see, you know, where priorities lie and stuff. And for me, my priority is is my is my family. It always has been. Um, even when I was young, you know, one of the first tattoos I ever got was family first across my chest, and I've always been that that way. And I've always wanted a family, and I've always wanted kids. Um. And now, you know, I have four beautiful kids and they're growing up. And I started to realize that they're, they're growing up without me because I'm always on the road. I'm always touring. Um, <clears throat> and it, it just got me thinking, you know, it was like, wow, you know, time is is precious, you know, and it slips away very, very quickly, quicker than any of us realize, really. You know, when you, you live in day to day, you just go, oh, it's another day. But really, that's a, that's another day gone, been and gone, you know. And so for me, it was like. It's getting harder and harder to go on tour and actually I'm at a point now where I don't think I can really tour um very much at all anymore my my wife's uh she's got got she was born with glaucoma um so she was actually born blind and due to a series of operations um when she was in surgeries when she was uh, a newborn they managed to bring back her vision um to us to an extent and uh it, you know it's been declining over the years and she's lost her vision in her left eye completely now and she, so she can't drive anymore so when I go on tour She's left with four kids. She can't drive, so she can't do the grocery shopping. She can't do the school run. She can't take the kids to the doctors. She, you know, she's always relying on someone else to be free um, to help her, which is just, you know, it's it's not really fair to to the kids, to to her, to me. Uh, so for me, with all these questions swirling on in my mind, I feel like it made me look at our career and go, wow, you know, we've done so many different kinds of 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 rock or metal or whatever you want to call it within that spectrum you know we've done the really heavy we've done the ballads you've done the poppier stuff we've covered a lot of ground and it just made me reflect on what a journey it's been and and, and everything that you know asking alexandria has sort of written over the years and, and i've gone well you know who knows how much longer this goes on for you know as as we're getting busier with children and and stuff like that so for me it was it was really important to sort of revisit that that journey and sort of take snippets from each each record um and each milestone and try and incorporate it into one album and a lot of the times on this record in, even into one song which was really quite challenging as a as a songwriter to sit down and write a song and go okay well I want three or four different aspects of Alexandria in this one song um and so for me it was just yeah it was important to sort of remember everything that we've done and and come from and 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 try and give the fans all of our fans that we've accumulated over the years whether they're fans of you know all of it or just sections of it whether they're big stand up and scream fans and they don't really like see what's on the inside or they're big see what's on the inside fans and they don't like from death destiny or whatever it might might be we wanted this album to have something for every single Ask an Alexandria fan. And I think, you know, when, when you push play and listen to it from start to finish, I think you'll listen and hear very clear, you know, oh, this sounds like 
a combination of the Red album and from Death to Destiny melded into one, or this has bits of Reckless and Relentless in it mixed with See What's on the Inside. So um, it was it was it was a really enjoyable album to write, but quite challenging in that in that respect. The title kind of it it chose itself, you know. I think um, Danny said Danny sort of mentioned it um, in in one of our talks, uh, one of our meetings, where I was saying, look, I'm I'm gonna have to miss miss tours and stuff I can't I just can't make this happen right now um I have to be home for my children I have to be home um and sort of raise my kids and and be there for them school you know take them to the after school activities make sure they get into the doctors all that all that stuff um and you know that was a question that was posed and it just in that moment I think all five of us went wow that's the name of the album so the album kind of named itself which is nice no, you know, I think that was just one of those things that was presented to us. And um, like you said, it was just a massive lineup and it was just something cool to do. Every Most of the time when we've done collaborations in the past with one person, you know, someone's come along and sang on a song for us or vice versa. So this opportunity arose and it was like, oh, it's kind of like what it reminded me of initially was, um, I don't know if you remember it. I'm sure you do. But back back when when we were younger, we must be a similar age. Back when we were younger, um, Roadrunner Records did that band, that Roadrunner United band. Um, and it had sort of Matt Heafy in it and Rob Flynn and Joey Jordson. And it had all these different different people. And it sounded like some kind of super group. Um, and I just remember thinking when I was, when I was a kid, that's really cool. There's a lot of bands on this one song or a lot of members from each band on this one song. Uh, and I love these bands. And it, I remember it resonating with me and thinking, you know, that's amazing. And I don't think any songs came from that that have stood the test of time, so to speak, or that I listen to nowadays. But I remember at the time being really excited by it. And I thought when this opportunity presented itself, I was like, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, and I just remember how I felt when I was a kid and Roadrunner United came out and I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe this will invoke those sort of feelings for other people out there, which I just thought would be a cool sort of thing to, to be part of. Yeah. So basically I think for me, I just, I've, I've just always loved songwriting. It's something I've done since I was like two years old. I would tinker around on my grandma's piano, um, writing little melodies, you know? So for me, songwriting is my passion. It's something I love doing. And when you create a record, it takes time. So the you've written the record and you're like, okay, written let's go record it and that happens in very quick succession these days as well because recording equipment is everywhere now whereas before you'd have to rip, then do rough demos then find a producer then go to studio then and it took a long time whereas now i'm kind of recording as i'm writing um and so by the time that I've writing and it's been recorded, it then goes through mixing, mastering, there's the artwork, there's scheduling, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. And it takes a long time for the record to actually come out. So by the time the records come out, it's been, you know, months or, or, or a year. And I'm sat there just waiting to be able to start writing again, because it's what I love doing. So I think that's why these records have come out so quickly, because I just, I, I love writing. And when I'm waiting for the, label and management to figure out all the stuff behind the scenes to release the record i'm just sat here you know waiting writing more music um so you know but i think with this record you know touring might not be scaled back for the band i think you know ask alexandria is still going to go out and tour and do everything they can um you know and obviously unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to join them on tour um, for quite for quite some time, just because, like we mentioned, my family uh, situation, I, I need to be home. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of happens in that respect. Um, because I'll just I'll be sat here, and when the kids, you know, I've taken the kids to school and I've fed them, and the, the house is clean and we're good. I can, I'm going to probably sit down and come back to this. I haven't even had a spare minute to finish painting in my studio. As you can see, it's just uh, it's full on day and night with four kids but you know whenever i do get a second um by myself and i do have any time i often come in here and i'm I'm writing already so um i think you know that's just part of who i am and and, and who i always have been as, as a songwriter and I, I love doing it so uh we'll see i'm probably sat on a hundred new asking alexandria songs already <laughs>